Hey guys and welcome to Just For The Record. I am glad you made it here. Today is part one of the vinyl hauls that you've missed over the last five weeks while I couldn't record because of my damaged eye. Um, the first one is going to be about all of those records. Some of them are really amazing, others not so much, but still fairly cool. First of all, the story how I got all of them. Um, a friend of mine, actually her father, had much more than these and he wanted to throw them away because he needed space in his um in his house and she asked me if i want to have some of those and i picked a few out and i asked her uh, what her dad wanted for them like money because they are there are some that are really well valuable uh, there are some that are really valuable and i told this to her and she was like yeah you know what he's gonna throw them away take them for free i was very happy and let's just dive in because there are quite a few. First one Super Trump live in Paris. I've actually sleeved all of them. I haven't sleeved all of those, as you can see, but we're going to talk about those in the next video. Um, Super Trump live in Paris. Well, I've talked about Super Trump quite a while, and there's everything on here that you want to hear. School, breakfast in America, give a little bit, all of the great stuff that you want to hear from Super Trump. And I love the cover, it really looks good. Even though this sleeve actually is kind of worn out, you can't really see it. Looks very, very nice. Okay, we're not going to stick too long on each record, or this video is going to take ages. Next one, um, Phil Collins, face value. What is not to love about Phil Collins? Yeah, he is not as progressive as Peter Gabriel is or was, but he's still an amazingly talented musician. Amazingly talented drummer as well. Like, Just plainly a very good musician. The Alan Parson Project, Vulture Culture. Alan Parson, the producer of Dark Side of the Moon, for everybody who don't know, now you know. And he obviously, like, this is, I would call it electronic progressive rock. I'm not quite sure if that's the genre, but that is what I would put this music in. Alan Parson obviously is a, a musical mastermind. Don't really need to talk about that. My father is a big fan as well. And we didn't have Vulture Culture. Yeah, this is my personal grail out of all of those. Paul Simon Graceland. I am a big, 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 big Paul Simon fan. One of them one of the greatest songwriters of all time, like literally. I've actually seen Art Garfunkel live two years ago. It was a birthday present for my mother. And uh, I mean, I, I don't really know if they are still in speaking terms, but they haven't performed together for quite a while. And Art Garfunkel was full of praise for Paul Simon. And Graceland can be considered his best album. Like I would say that. The songbook of Paul Simon, his, um, release, his first release is very, very good as well. But Graceland really is top-notch musical quality amazing you should listen to that that's definitely one of my one of my favorite albums of all time and just so so good he's he and his guitar are just marvelous joe cocker greatest hits not much to say about that joe cocker has got an amazing voice there is no doubt about that and yeah well he's a good musician queens great uh, <laughs> Quite. <laughs> I'm, I quite made it. Um, Queen, greatest hits. Again, there isn't much about Queen that I haven't said in other videos. They are amazing. Um, Freddie has an amazing voice, but the entire band really consists out of amazing musicians that really created something of their own. It's a little bit like I've said about Supertron quite a while. There isn't another band that sounds like Queen the same way as there isn't another band that sounds like Supertron. I'm going to do this together. Um, the Beatles. Uh, the early years and the later years. I already do own both of those copies as a present from my mother, but she listened the hell out of both records and they are fairly worn down, but I'm still going to keep them because my, my mother loved the records. But those are in a much better condition and I'm very happy that I got to own them. Actually, this is the most sold Beatles record of all time, just so you know. No jacket required for Collins. I actually thought it would be something special because of the exclamation mark, but it sadly isn't. It's just another album that I do already own. But I wanted to, to, to take the chance. Yeah, imagine, John Lennon. Um, there is no doubt about that. Imagine, no pun intended, this record would have never released. It's absolutely crucial to pop culture, I would say. There are so many references and so many great, great ways of thinking on this record. Um, that still live on today, obviously, like, not everything that shines is gold, but imagine, well, high percentage. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't really know why I want, why I picked up this one. Well, actually, I do know. I can tell you a little story about that. It's the final countdown by Europe. And when I was a child, like about 10 years old, my all-time favorite song was the final countdown by Europe. And I was so into that. Um, my uh, my uh, a good friend out of my school actually went to a bowling um, to a bowling state every time that he had a uh, that he had birthday and we went there as well and he his favorite song was smoke on the water so we put in about 50 cents to listen to smoke on the water because there was actually an old school jukebox which was great and the next thing that i spent 50 cents on i know is the final countdown and it was turned up all the way in our in our bowling cabin it was just like everybody had their own room to bowl in um kind of cool long time ago actually Barclay Dems Harvest, Berlin, a concert for the people. I actually don't really know when this happened. Um, 1982. So Germany was still divided in two parts, in the eastern part and the western part. Barclay Dems Harvest, obviously a, I would say, progressive rock band out of um, Britain. I don't really have the biggest attachment to them, but I'm going to change that, I think. I've actually, I think I've, I think I've even talked about that once in a video. Okay. The best of Cat Stevens, same thing. Cat Stevens, one of the favorite musicians of my mother. And you can't take his influence away. He's, what is it, folk rock? I would say it's folk rock. Um, or even just plainly folk. Just like, yeah, it's it's Cat Stevens. What do you want, what, 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 what should I say more? I, I don't need to say anymore. Um, all time greatest hits, double LP by the Beach Boys. Actually, this is the first Beach Boys LP I ever bought. I didn't bought it. I wanted to say buy, but I didn't. But um, yeah, we do not have pet sounds. That actually, that's actually a shame. That's actually a shame. But I didn't really want to buy a new version of pet sounds because there are quite a few original copies that are available to buy. But I just haven't really found one that I liked and found one that is in a good condition. The Beach Boys. Yeah, this is a fun thing. Um, Saga. Time's up. I have no idea what kind of music is on this. I just really like the cover. And I think I'm going to find this out when I put it on the platter, but I hadn't the time to put all of them on the platter, even though I had quite a, quite a bit of time because I couldn't do anything with this eye. But I have no idea what awaits me on this on this, um, on this this record. ABBA, greatest hits. Again, there, are, there aren't many things that haven't been said about ABBA. And my girlfriend is a huge ABBA fan. I've already showed you about five different other records that we do have albums obviously and this is the greatest hits volume two and it's got like gimme gimme uh, knowing me knowing you take a chance on me money 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 dancing queen does your mother know chiquita and chiquitita i'm sorry and so on and so on and so on like all the great stuff that you want from another record again greatest hits paul simon and, Gar and uh, art garfunkel not much to say about this by the way i love the style that, it, that paul simon is rocking here i think i haven't seen him with a mustache, uh, with mustache out of this picture but it's amazing really really amazing um next one elvis presley the legend again a best of two lp version and not much to say about that it's just elvis presley at his best even though i think they could have picked a better picture of him but that's just me next Gary Moore, Wild Frontier. Actually, the first Gary Moore record that I do own. And Gary Moore is one of those unsung guitar legends, I would say. Um, he's not really coming up on the top 10 guitarists of all time lists from anybody, but he is a very, very, very talented player and a, and a much more talented songwriter. And you can definitely hear that on every of his releases. Fleetwood Mac, The Greatest Hits. Actually, that's, that's stemmed on. I haven't even seen that. Pristine Condition, I think this has never been played, actually. But... Again, um, Fleetwood Mac. Not much to say about Fleetwood Mac, but I haven't said when I was talking about Tusk and when I was talking about Rumors. 25 Years of Rock and Roll, I'm not going to talk about that. It's just the best of, of all of like Chuck Berry, The Beatles, uh, Stewart, and stuff like that. We are nearly at the end. Yeah, this is another grail, actually. The Brothers in Arms by The Dire Straits. My father introduced me to The Dire Straits quite a while ago, and... I've stuck to them since, and Brothers in Arms is my favorite record of them, and I actually always wanted to buy it, but it was either the record wasn't in a good condition or it was too expensive, at least at the time when I saw this. This one, on the other hand, is, and I'm going to, I mean, there isn't much to show to you because you presumably can't see it. It's a little dusty, but it's in, like, near mint condition. 
perfect. And the jacket as well. The, the jacket of the record is the outer sleeve is perfectly fine. Like it looks like nearly like it's been bought um, from me in a new condition. Okay, Dire Straits, Brothers and Arms. Um, great album. Definitely a listen worth. And last but not least, Blood Rage Gems Harvest, the best volume three. I already do volume two. Uh, that's not that's not quite grammatically correct. I do already own um, the best of Barclay James Harvest Volume 2 and yeah I've spoken about them as well. This is the first part and the next part when we're going to talk about those records we're going to take time for that. Um, I just wanted to give you that was not on purpose. I just wanted to give you a little quick update about the story that I needed to tell. Thank you. <laughs> 